Okay, so there we got to, got to this bit here, got to this bit here, bit of Jack and Ori story. This is quite interesting reading this, actually. It makes me a bit nervous, to be fair. Um, here we go. So much beauty we need to look after, said the mole. Yes, so much. I'm just looking out there. I've got to make sure I don't skip pages. Oof, are you all right? Sorry, yes, totally fine. Just thought we should start looking for that river. So he's just fallen off the tree. Lemon drizzle. This is quite a hill, so they're just climbing up a hill there. Um, is this better? Asked the boy. So the boy picks up the mole. Well, I don't want to be too much trouble. It's okay. Well, thank you. What is that over there? It's the wild, said the mole. Don't fear it. Look, I can see a river, said the boy. So just looking at the river. You can see that there. Wait, what? I said, don't fear it. Not, tra not charge straight at it. I mean, really, good grief. So just charging at the river, he's going towards the river. Do you have a favourite saying? Asked the boy. Yes, said the mole. What is it? If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. I see. Does it work? Every time. Did the old mole say which way we should follow? Asked the boy. I didn't ask her that. Oh, isn't it odd? We can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. I'm going to stop there because I think this is another good lesson. So they're you know, just staring at the river. And what the boy says, I'm going to repeat this again, says, isn't it odd? We can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. What are your thoughts on that, Lee? I just want to uh, wind back slightly as well to the not charge, you know, the don't fear it, not charge into it bit as well. Because I think there is a difference between not fearing things or respecting things as opposed to just being reckless and going head first. I guess it's the whole, we talked about it before, again, there's a difference between living in the moment as opposed to just living without a plan. And they're two completely different things. And you can plan and live in the moment as much as you can not fear but also be you know respectful or cautious or deliberate or whatever it is so i i think that one which you started with at the start of that bit there's a really good less a really good illustration on the river yeah. bit yeah and um, so yeah go winding back to that i think you're absolutely right about that because i've been guilty of that just just going just go straight forward and not having consideration perhaps maybe some, some things and i just say i think people you, can other people good. right that's it and people can misinterpret when you say don't fear it it doesn't mean don't be aware or don't understand or don't plan but you know fear becomes that thing that completely blocks you from doing anything and you should do things but you don't just do them blindly and so i think that's a that's a good illustration there on that one it doesn't strike him as much the inside outside one if i'm totally honest with you joe is that, and i get the message I just don't know what that it doesn't it doesn't evoke anything in me the same as the river bit did so for me, it's about, for me, this is the, this is the imp important thing because everything we sense is actually on the inside. You know, all these, in, like, like we have an interaction now, we're on TikTok, but actually that's outside, but we all sense it inside. Because actually, if you think about it, we interpret everything by, by what's inside us. Nothing's really, when you think about it, is the, you, people ask, is this actually all real, right? Because actually we all experience everything from the inside. It's not on the outside. And that's what I love about it. Fear, you know, excitement all those things and we get emotions they're all on the inside reacting or responding to the things on the outside and that's what i think they're getting at is that isn't it strange that you know actually when you think about it our brain is locked in our skull it's never seen the light of day ever ever it's just interpreting everything around us you know and we are making sense of the world through our own eyes, but we've never actually been outside ourselves. That's what I think I love about that, is that I love that whole thing around that actually everything's up for interpretation. And so why we've got to be really clear about our intentions and really clear about how we treat other people, like the thing about not rushing, about checking ourselves, like going, well, actually, how am I feeling about this? Or what am I thinking about this? And is that true? As possible right because actually we're never going to get to the truth really if you think about it because we can only interpret everything and that's what i think that gets at that's why i think that's a really deep lesson i think that's a really lesson that when you really think about it actually we've never seen the light of day really if you think if we, if we, if we think of ourselves inside we've never actually been outside ourselves you can imagine it you can do the fly on the wall and be but actually you've never ever been outside yourself right you might look in the mirror but you've never you've not seen yourself outside which is the weirdest thing when I think about it even more, it just makes me think, 
that is really strange because you just imagine it. It's um, when you see yourself on video, you still don't get the whole picture, and that's what I love about it. So that for me, that's the lesson. Uh -huh.